Okay. Today, today is kind of a big day for me. Doing something that I really haven't done in quite a while. Um, I am going to be testing out my max lifts. I'm gonna try and stick to the main lifts, bench press, squat, and deadlift. And the reason I'm doing this today is because actually, um, I already maxed out my deadlift this week and it was kind of on accident. I'll show you that right now. The reason I say it was on accident is because I was just doing a regular strength training, something I'm trying to incorporate more into my workouts. And I did a 5-3-1 variant of deadlift. And uh, I tried to see what my last max was to get a rough idea of what to do. And I just thought, you know what, let's, let's send it. So I did. I, I started out with 405, I jumped to 435, and then I jumped to 465, which is a massive personal record for me uh, of about 30 pounds, I'm sorry, about 50 pounds. The last time I maxed out on deadlift, I got 415, and uh, I did that in December of 2018, and I really haven't tested a max lift since then. And I definitely haven't tested a max lift in squat or bench press since probably September 2018. Today is the day where I try at least squat. We'll see how I feel after that. I'm going more so for just maxing out my squat today. If I feel good, I'll do bench press, um, but I don't want to push it today because I want to see some good numbers. Um, I've got a couple goals, but I'm really open to whatever I can lift today and how I feel. Um, so again, I'm going to start off on squat. We're just going to do a couple warm ups and uh, then go in for a max lift. And then after that, we're just going to see where it goes. If I feel good enough, I'll do I'll do a bench press, um, which is my weakest movement. So I really want to make sure I'm feeling all up to it. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's do some squatting. Okay, I'm gonna say we're off to a good start because the weight I just did was the last PR that I had on squat and it didn't feel too bad. So we're gonna keep going up. That was a massive jump but I still feel good. Let's keep going. One of the things I am not about to do is rush into these lifts. I'm just gonna take my time, recover, sit down a second before moving on. There's no point in rushing it. So going in for another lift. Uh, if I make this, this will be my last one. I'm not looking to fall over on this challenge. I collared it just to make sure things don't fall off, but I'm not sure, not sure how much that's gonna be doing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how well that'll stay put. I guess we'll find out. You know, missing a lift really sucks, but I think what's worse is having to take all the weight off just to re-rack it.
Okay, so I know I said I didn't want to fail this. I didn't want to be pushing myself so hard that I, I couldn't, I was failing reps. I should have taken the PR that I hit, big PR by the way, I should have taken that and been okay with it. But I pushed it a little bit too far and as you guys saw, it was a failed rep. Um, it was a, it was a massive jump, jump in weight. I knew I shouldn't have done it and I think I got in my own head a little bit because I wasn't feeling confident and it kind of ruined me from the get-go, which is my own fault. But I still think I can hit this. I backed it down a little bit. I put it down to the jump that I think I should have done in the first place. Um, I honestly, I don't know how much is on that bar right now. I try not to figure that out until I'm done. I know it's above what I already hit by like 10 pounds. So let's try and hit it. Maybe I just got in my own head, but uh, that didn't go up either. So I'm gonna call it a day, take what the wins I got, and I feel still, I'm still feeling all right, so let's move on to some bench press. I just did the math on what I successfully squatted. Obviously this one was a failed attempt. This one was 435. I failed at 435, but I landed 425. 425 pounds. I think that's amazing. I'm I'm blown away by that. I'm extremely happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm, the last max I ever recorded at squatting was 365 pounds. Granted, that was you know a little less than two years ago, but it was still 60 pounds less than what I did today. That's amazing. I honestly think the this failed attempt was kind of mental. Um, I wasn't quite there yet, but. I'm, I'm very happy. 425 pounds. Next stop, 450. All right, so now it's time for bench. Did, did a warm up. Um, one thing you should always, always do when benching is set up your safety bars. Set them up. If you're benching in a home gym, which I think more and more people are doing now, make sure you have a safety system, safety bars, pins, straps, something. Benching's scary. Don't, don't do it alone if you're not properly set up. My only bit of advice. Now let's try and lift something heavy. this again. Uh, nope. Okay. Not in the cards. Not not pushing it up. Filled once, filled it twice. Sticking to it like I did squats. I'm done with benching. But 335 pounds. I was able to put up 300. Wait. Yeah. 335 pounds. That is a 30 pound PR on bench. Bench press. Guys. So just to give you kind of an idea of why I'm pretty happy with that. First off, when I was in high school, I benched every single day, every single day. And I got a pretty decent bench. It was about 300 pounds. I never really broke 300 pounds. Then didn't work out at all came back and I started doing kind of CrossFit style workouts or Metcons or aerobic pass, whatever you want to call it. I started doing those style workouts. And then uh, fast forward about a year and a half ago, I joined street parking and I've been with street parking ever since. And I really, really enjoy it. But 
There's not a lot of benching in street parking. Yeah, there are some power workouts and you know, you get some push-ups here and there, but CrossFit in general or any sort of hot hit training, whatever you want to call it, is not is not bench press heavy. Again, you have some push-ups in there. Every now and again, you'll have to do some pressing. But uh, unless I do it on my own, I don't bench frequently. And I 100% don't bench as much as I should. So the fact that I just threw up a 30 pound PR, in my opinion, is super impressive. I am, I am very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Because now I just want to bench more. I want to see how long it'll take me to get that up to 400 pounds. That's going to take forever, but let's try it. Okay, so I still feel good. The baby is still sleeping. I reviewed the footage of my 465 pound deadlift and that went up really fast. So I think you know what this means. I'm deadlifting again. Let's go. Okay, this one held together by bands because this plate is not fully on that bar. Alright, so it didn't improve on my deadlift, but I'm not mad about it. I did 465 pounds this week. I already improved it by 50 pounds. So my deadlift is 465 pounds. We'll stop at that, uh, which is a 50 pound PR. My squat is 425 pounds, right? 425 pounds, which is a 60 pound PR. And my bench is 325 pounds which is a 20 pound PR. How can I be mad? What a great day. What a great day, man. Well, I hope you guys are having as great of a day as I am, uh, but I'm not done here. I've got to do a quick street parking workout. I think today is only like 10 minutes long. So that's why I figured it was as good a day as any to uh, lift some really heavy weights. Um, but it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to put these weights back. So I'm gonna let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, just click that thumbs up button. It helps me out quite a bit. Uh, if you like my content, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything in the future. And until next time, everyone, remember, we are all in progress. And make sure you check in on that progress. Compare where you are today to where you once were. If you do some max lifts, comment below. Let me know what your, your PRs are. All right, guys, have a good one.